welcome to another vlog. Today, as the title promises, is a video all about how I stay motivated working from home. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not always easy. <laughs> Especially lately, I've been finding it very difficult to stay motivated and like focused on my work, but I have to be because things are really, really busy right now. Don't know if you can hear that, but that's Dan getting in the shower. So despite being in the third wave of the panoramic and being in lockdown yet again and constantly inflicting this huge sense of FOMO on myself from watching TikToks of Americans and especially Australians just live their lives. Um, despite all of that struggle and seeing young people like my age in the US get their vaccines while still waiting around for my own parents to get vaccinated here in Ontario. All of that stuff, we have to work through it and try to stay motivated and get our work done. Even though I feel like I'm having an existential crisis pretty much every day and feeling like this is never gonna end, life is gonna be like this forever and what's the point of it all? That's what we're working with people. So if I can get work done, even with <laughs> my head saying this to me on a repeated schedule out in the hour every hour, we can all stay motivated and get work done. So let me show you how I do it. So the first thing I do if I know that I need to be motivated and have a productive day is actually get up, shower, do my skincare routine, put on makeup and put together an outfit because I just find if I am in sweatpants or comfy clothes all day long, I am, I'm not gonna feel productive at all. So that is my very first thing that I do to feel motivated and we're there. So let's head over to the office, shall we? Oh, look, we're here, five steps later. Okay, if we're gonna get through this day and feel like we got done anything at all, it's very important to have a super clear to-do list. So what we're not gonna do right now is make a super long list of every single thing I wanna get done in like the next quarter. And what we're gonna do is make a very finite list of what needs to be done today. Normally on Mondays, I come up with a list for the entire week, kinda divide it based on what needs to be done for the agency, what needs to be done for my own content. And then every morning, I just click and drag some tasks over to my today column. And again, I split that up between agency tasks and content tasks. And we're gonna try to keep this reasonable because one way to get yourself completely unmotivated is by giving yourself a massive long list that you reasonably can never get done within a day. And you're just gonna spend the entire day feeling like you're playing catch up and never actually get to the point where you feel like, okay, I did what I had to do. So we're gonna try to keep it reasonable. The main things on my list for today are reviewing a content calendar for one of my team members, doing a meeting with another team member, and then in terms of content, I need to film a video, a Tuesday video for next week. I wanna plan a few of my upcoming YouTube videos as well, some of which have sponsorships, so like doing rough outlines, particularly for the Tuesday video for the week after next. And then I've been really behind on my podcast, so I want to write a new intro and outro for it because it's very dated and I need to kind of like reword it and stuff and then start working on the actual episodes because it's been a couple weeks since we've posted anything. And so I just need to get back on top of that because it's been so busy with client stuff. And I feel like now I'm finally getting to the point where I've hired enough people hopefully and I'm in the process of hiring another person right now actually so that my workload won't be quite as overwhelming so that I can actually get the content done. Um, that's also a very important part of the business. All right, I have T minus 40 minutes to film this YouTube video. I mean, I can always film clips later if I run out of time, but Dan has a meeting at 10 o'clock, so we gotta squeeze this in now while there's not talking in the background. And I thought I would give you a little bit of insight into what it looks like when I set up to film a YouTube video. Today, the set's a little bit different. We're doing a tutorial. So I'm sitting at my desk this way, camera's here. And then of course, we've got the table full of junk, which is stuff off of my desk, out of the kitchen, so that we have a nice clean background for the video. It's like, you know, we got our plant, our headphones, our mics that Rode just sent me. Thank you, Rode, for these beautiful mics. I'm gonna talk about these more in a future video. Um, a kettle, tea towels, you know. But anyway, this looks nice and tidy. And uh, here's, here's our angle, oh, of course. When does this not happen? There we go. That is the, the set, or at least the tutorial part. I had 
a bunch of great meetings this morning. I met with our team's graphic designer, Lauren, who you should definitely follow on Instagram. She's super talented, creates amazing stuff. And then I had my regular daily check-in with Taylor and Shelby. And honestly, sometimes I feel like I go back and forth between like kind of dreading meetings. I never really dread meetings with my team members because I always love checking in with them. But sometimes meetings can feel like a bit of a burden, like something that you have to like really prepare for and be like on for. But other times I can feel really, really energized by meetings. And today I feel like checking in with people, talking with the folks on my team that like make all of this happen makes me feel really motivated because it reminds me that like I'm not doing this all on my own. I've got people who've got my back and I've got theirs and I feel like that helps me feel really motivated. So I feel like in general, when you're working from home, it's easy to feel kind of like isolated. So any chance that you have to check in with other human beings, I think is helpful. Another important component, I think, of staying motivated throughout the day is taking breaks. And now it is time for lunch. It's looking beautiful outside. So I feel like I should get outside for a walk and then I'll dive back in this afternoon. Do you appreciate that I highlight that you make me lunch? Yes, let the world know. You finally get the respect you deserve because you do make me lunch like every day. Yes, I do. <laughs> After lunch, I can usually feel like really lethargic and really unmotivated to go back to work. So today I decided to go for a walk. Now I'm home and back at my desk and honestly still struggling with motivation. I don't even have that long of a list this afternoon, but sometimes it's just really hard to like feel creative when it's like so busy and I'm just trying to balance like all the millions of different things that are going on. And I'm like, okay, I wanna do A task, but that requires B task to already be completed and that needs to be done next week. And there's just been like an increasing level of complexity in my business, like pretty much on a continuous incline for like the past year, which in one way is really great. It means the business has been growing we have a lot of clients. I've never before had to balance this many clients at once. I think we have like just over 30 different clients right now. And that's a lot of different people to <laughs> make sure they're all happy and we're all like getting everything done for them. And so even just that like brain fog of like trying to make sure that none of that stuff is getting forgotten sometimes kind of keeps me from being able to brainstorm podcast ideas or like feel creative about YouTube videos and Ultimately, I like I need to focus on that more because nobody else can make my YouTube videos but me. But I always seem to kind of like leave that for later because I'm like, no, like the business, like that's what's so important. And yeah, there's just always a bit of like tension in my life between the agency side of my work and like the content creation side of my work. That sometimes leads to struggles with motivation. Anyway, I think it's about time for my last ditch effort at a pick me up. And that's making a nice latte because I went on a walk and I'm still ready to fall asleep. Um, <laughs> so much for a video where I show you how to stay motivated. When I'm literally here like, yeah, I'm gonna quit for the day now because it's, it's really hard sometimes and I like feel half guilty about it because I literally have like my dream job. I am running a business that's successful. And I feel so proud of that and I get to make YouTube videos for you all, but even though I like do what I love, sometimes it's still easy to get down on myself and feel like, oh my gosh, I just feel like watching YouTube and not like. <laughs> I learned this from a YouTube tutorial. You want to boil your water first because if you put cold water into a mocha pot, then um, you'll end up kind of like burning your coffee grounds before it's actually ready. So I boil the water, 
then we put this little thing in. And then I will carefully screw on the top, try not to burn myself. The irony of all of these strategies for trying to feel motivated and continue to be productive is that you can do all of them and sometimes it still doesn't work. I wish I could have like a fully positive, encouraging persona in my videos and be like, yeah, we can get through this, everybody. I feel like that's what I have been kind of upholding for like the past year. And I feel like it's starting to weigh on me. So why not just be totally honest with you and tell you that, you know, I've just had a, a breakdown crying about how difficult it is sometimes. I feel like in a lot of ways I pushed through really well throughout the past year, like still being really productive, focusing on growing my business and and like my business has grown a lot, which I feel really fortunate for, but I think I've just like had the blinders on, like keep going, like you can do this, don't worry about it. And I think like finally, like just how like shitty this past year has been is like kind of starting to catch up with me. And like, look, like we're all sick of it. We are all really, really over it, but it's just like hard when sometimes it feels like it's hard to like even feel hopeful about it because obviously like I've been alluding to in this video, I'm very, very frustrated by the vaccine rollout in Ontario. But anyway, I don't wanna be a downer because look, you know, we all feel frustrated and like it's tough. Um, but I did wanna share this to tell you this is real life, baby. This is the struggle. And if you're feeling this way, don't feel bad because I'm right there with you, sister. And it is tough. So I feel like with my to-do list anyway, I kind of got done like a lot of it. Um, I feel like I didn't get enough work done today, but I actually want to check my to-do list and see, see kind of where we're at. Yeah, I was going to finish planning a YouTube video um, and, and send one more email, which I can do tomorrow morning. Um, so that's fine. If I look at my like rest of the week stuff, you know, I can get it done. It's okay. I haven't really got that much work done this afternoon, honestly, since the walk, but um, I don't know. So it goes. I feel like I've lost any and all sense of what even is like a full day of work anyway. Like I have no idea like how much work do other people get done in a day versus me? Like how am I supposed to know what productive even is? How do I even know if that's a lot of work to get done or a little? At this point, Sometimes when it doesn't go well and you don't feel motivated to work, you just gotta close the book on the day and say, that was all right, we got through it. And try to give yourself at least an evening that's worth looking forward to. So why don't we go work on the van? That always makes me feel better. <laughs> So we're at the van. Here's a bit of an update for you on how it's looking. I just already feel so much like lighter and I don't know, happier being here. I feel like it's also just good to have a project that doesn't involve screens. So you can kind of like go away from your laptop and your phone for a while and do something more like hands-on. I think that's like been helping me a lot too. Um, as you can see, our ceiling is looking really good. We have been able to put our like fan cover back in, the lights are in, all of the slats are complete that we're gonna do until we get our upper cabinets in place and then we'll like finish it off. What's on the list? I wanna finish this back area here. It's been so long in your room They add up to the time I'm with you Do you know I love you too? So I'm 
sometimes I feel like the smallest details can take way more time than you ever think they will. Like if you were thinking about doing a van conversion, the last thing you're gonna consider is how you're gonna cover up that metal part that goes above the back doors. And that's pretty much what our evening has been dedicated to. And like, we're mate, we're not even halfway done. <laughs> So uh, you never know. At the same time, these things take so long, but they are so satisfying when you complete them. All right. So this is the idea. It's kind of dark in here now because the sun is setting, but we've got our wood pieces cut to match the curve of the roof and this little indent here. And then now I've just got to paint them. I love you too.